Awesome. Is it Filipino? Is it I mean, Filipino? Just, just because there's long anise in it makes it Cheers. Filipino, I guess. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. And in today's episode, we are going to be making a breakfast sandwich. Now, there's some discussion as to whether or not this is Filipino. My Filipino cohort over here says that it is not. And the only thing that makes it Filipino is the longanisa. But either way, we are going to make a breakfast sandwich. Now, we are going to do it two ways. One, we are going to do it as an egg souffle, which is this airy, spongy egg. But I also want to try it just as a fried egg because who doesn't like good runny egg? But we've got to get the eggs going. If we are going to do the souffle, here, eight eggs. Filipino, right? Eh? You've never seen it? I've never seen it. Poor husband. He's your male. Oh, you bought him on the internet? Mm -hmm. I, was, I always joke you with that because. <laughs> I, I was on a budget. He, budget he was only 10 pesos. <laughs> so we're going to use milk and heavy cream. in there and then the most important part a little msg in the form of chicken bouillon you know, they say that it's like cancer msg i don't know if it is then i mean doesn't everything kind of cause cancer nowadays Jay's i say cancer. would you just say jay's a cancer <laughs> i hope she was referring to the sign no oh okay he's actually a torres <laughs> that fucking makes sense. Holy <laughs> shit, you're a Taurus? I'm surprised we get along. I'm really surprised we get along. I get along with everyone. Because I don't generally get along with Tauruses. Like DiCaprio's? Dun 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 dun. Oh, you gotta put, oh. For this scene, we can no longer use Devo. We can no longer use Devo. Why? Because we watched Ricky Snedeki and there is a fucking scene in that movie where John Cena is dressed up as Devo. And it is fucking hilarious. So we can no longer use it though? Huh? We can't use it though? We can't use the Devo one. We oh. can use the, I want to use the John oh, Cena okay. one. Now you can use a mixer, like I'm using a hand mixer. You can use uh, an immersion blender. Um, we just want to incorporate air because we want it to be fluffy. <laughs> We're going to chop some green onion. <laughs> A little Pamela. So why do you need that on parchment paper? Because I still don't want it to stick. Just because there's parchment paper doesn't mean that it won't stick. So we're going to add our green onion. This will go into an ice bath or a water bath. So into a water bath, into a 300 degree oven for about an hour. And what we want is we're basically slow baking with some moisture, an egg that will come out nice and spongy and airy. And it's wonderful. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. <laughs> Our egg is cooked. And what you're looking for is this kind of spongy. So it's a nice spongy consistency. And it'll make for a good sandwich. Longanisa, which is actually so not Filipino, <laughs> surprisingly. I think the Spanish brought it over. I think that's where it came from. It's Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish or Portuguese, but I think it's Spanish. Probably Spanish. Spanish, Longanisa yeah. is Spanish. It's not Portuguese. Long linguisa is Portuguese. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's Filipino food is so good. Yeah. Like Tocino, Longanisa. Tocino is so good. We are going to cook our Longanisa in our beautiful cast iron pan. Oh, fuck it. So now we got our hash browns. If you don't have a regular fryer, then you just put them in the air fryer. Oh, 
That's beautiful right there. Even though Jay's like, it's not good for you. You shouldn't need it. So I'm gonna take this out. Set this off to the side. And then we're gonna use our longanisa grease. And we're going to toast our bun. Is where my family's from. But it's a nice toast actually. A nice toast on there. A little salt on there. Hasha brown. A little, I'm gonna put a little mayo because I wanted mayo. You don't need the mayo if you don't want the mayo. But I wanted ma mayo. Oh, what the fuck just happened there? A little sriracha. Top, top. And put bottom, bottom. One, two. Our huevos. For the Philippines, you guys use a lot of American cheese, though. And Americanized. Yes. American cheese. Cheese! Oh, wow, it's so bubbly. And then our top bun. Top bun. We want to bring in our resident Filipino, Mr. J. Saison? How do you season. say season? Season? Like season? Season. Season. Like season. Season. Yeah, season. <laughs> He's not French. <laughs> Saison. This is yours to share with your with your wife. Awesome. Is it Filipino? It is it I mean, Filipino? Just, just because there's longanisa in it. Makes it cheers. That's a pretty good sandwich, though. It is a good sandwich. That is a really good sandwich. What's weird is that, like, I think it would be really good. Mm. I can't Mexicanify everything. <laughs> Everything you do, Mexico fried. Mmm. Delicious. I like it. Mmm. That's good. Easy breakfast sandwich. Give it a try if you can't find longanisa. What do they use? <laughs> Get out. You can use any spicy sausage, um, but the egg is fucking phenomenal having that nice soft egg and that crispy hash brown. So um, I will see you guys next time. Much love, like, subscribe, notify, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Hmm. Where is this one of these creepers? <laughs> <laughs>